Morgan's back with a Merlot, but it smells cow muck. Ask me about agricultural business finance. What are the rates at the moment? Have they come down? Uh, they have come down a little bit over the last month. Um, but you need to be checking and making sure that you're getting the best deal, working out your interest, calculating it, dividing it by the term, and really know what you're borrowing and how much it's costing you. And how do the people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, georgina.finance.business.ag. My mobile's on there and my email address as well. Drop me a DM and get in contact if you need quick and competitive finance. And we've just done something with, has it gone through Oxbury, is it? Yeah, Oxbury Agricultural Bank, fantastic lender at the minute, really um, doing a good job for us in the world of finance. Uh, I've got 12 lenders in total, uh, asset finance, farm loans, and uh, commercial mortgages. If you're thinking of buying a property or land, uh, we can help with that as well. Perfect. Thank you. See you later. Shameless plug. Hopefully I can get a better rate again next time. I've just been doing some finance for a machine. It's going to be arriving very soon because them new farms are chewing up cash flow and I don't want to spend money on uh, machinery when I can finance it. So, yeah, there you go. Give it a ring, George. Neighbour's boiler's gone off, so I'm just having a look if it just needs the magic eye fixing because he's away fit on a digging job. The kids and wife are cold. <laughs> like top of the pops. Yeah, somehow I don't think that's right. What is it with cigarette lighter plugs and chargers? They just don't want to stay in, do they? I'm gonna wrap some tape around it, I think and make it tighter in the hole. Going to pick a ducting up now for putting in a trench to get like electrics, well a camera really, over to the shed with the sheep in, ready for them lambing. So hopefully I can just go and throw it in a bucket. So they've taken a tractor and a trailer after the builders, merchants, juicers, I think we've got it, they've got them in. And then might even get a water pipe as well, put out in the same trench. I've just stopped here on my way. See if there's any OSR made it, but no. Flea beetle has totally, totally eaten it. So that's uh, we've got 75 acres, 70 acres maybe up here that we'll have to redrill with something else. Just back at HQ now with a roll of ducting and a roll of water pipe. <laughs> uh, looks like Os Oscar's basically on a bit of a placement this week off school so remember Oscar he had a go with the Merlot one summer anyways we've been teaching him to drive the solace and do some brushing up really brushing all the leaves and the wood chip off the yard what happened there <laughs> brush this up we started digging a trench and then we found a cable coming out the house and it rang me on Claus Walt and he said it used to come in this gay blend. You can see it's been chopped off there, stolen. We've got a cat scanner now and we're scanning it back. Just checking it's the same one, but hopefully we can dig down to that, put a joint in it. It saves us buying a whole long length of cable. Right, here's a quiz question for you. What is the best here? We've got uh, Elliot's Defender. Or... The um, is it is it any Oscar and a deer? Do they call them? Is that how it's pronounced? Which is sort of a bit of a G wagon, a bit of a Daihatsu, a bit of a Land Rover. Get any Oh, look at that! Well, that switch is there. What do you prefer? Or the Corvus. Yeah, we found that cable. Hopefully we can dig down and cut it back to where it's rusted and joint it. We've also now located the stopcock for the yard. But when we've turned it on, nothing happened. So we can do with finding the other end of it now. We're just gonna work out if we see which way the pipe goes.
It's a shame we can't clip the Jenny to the water pipe in it from the scanner and trace it. You could always take the tap off and throw a, a wire down it, couldn't you? Like a... See which way more. I think it goes. It goes that way, maybe. I reckon it's probably where it's sunk there, but where is it heading to? question is, which way is it going? I think it's going under the yard or towards the house. See that? It's easy enough, isn't it? That wasn't going to freeze, was it? Looks like it goes straight to that one. Across to over there. To under there. Yeah, we started digging a trench, obviously, to bury that duct to take to where the electric comes in. And then we found that cable, and that's the one that we scanned and found over there. But we probably still want to put a water pipe in, so we'll probably still carry on with that trench and bury a new water pipe because we could not find the other end of that water pipe that we found the stop top stop tap for. Rob's just pulled in on the Valtra. He's been taking a trailer home. Someone had an accident, put the road, a car at the front of the tractor, and ripped the axle off and split the sump um, yeah and I've been it's not one of our tractors I've been scraping up here where all that slop was so that when we take some more straw out the shed we're not wallowing in all the slop but we've got some stone now there that we can level off a bit I brought some sand up to go over the trench on top of the duct in the water pipe but I feel like all we seem to do is dig holes and move stuff at this time of year I made up we found that cable though. I didn't realise how much that wall bulbs though. So, I might have saved a bit of money on the cable, but then, oh, actually, it's been plated already, hasn't it? This wall. Stop it. Stop it splitting, hasn't it? See the rods going through it. Must be. Yeah, hot bracing it back to there. Stop it falling over. For me, it doesn't look that bad, but that's got a belly there. I can't believe the difference in a week. So it's now quarter past five, and I'd say it's pretty much daylight. Admittedly, when you look at the sky, it, the sun is starting to go down. But the difference in a week, I'm sure last Monday, I can't even remember what I was doing last Monday, but last Monday, I'm sure it went dark on us. It's amazing after the yard's been brushed, so Oscar, Oscar brushed it before, so it looks a lot better. How much it's dried today with the little bit of a breeze we've had and no rain falling from the sky. This bit hasn't been brushed, so it's got bits of mud on it and it's not particularly dried well yet. Anyway, I'm just going to look at this because we put a new valve on this tyre, didn't we? And it stayed up perfectly over the weekend. That straw we did with the spreader bale is sort of, well, in fact, I'll show you down the yard and show you say that again so no wonder the yard's dried it's been the best well best day for solar since the 16th of october generated 342 units today and 343 on the 16th of october last year and it's still sunny but well, it's not sunny but it's still daylight so it's actually still going up but he reads it every night before he goes back across anyway let's have a look at this straw so when you run up on top of it it's basically feels like it's got a dew on it now in places because it's driven the moisture right up through the pile and it's now just on the top surface just drying off so maybe tomorrow it should be fine but because we've been drying chip we've not really given it full days worth of hot air i think it's shunk as well i suppose it would settle a little bit because it was scattered in some straw in there though Problem is, I bang my head. You can't sort of put a spear in like you can with the grain. I've left my hat in the house, that's why I've got my hood up. Um, you can't put a spear in, take a sample down below. You kind of, then you need to like, I don't know, dig a hole in with a litter picker or something and grab some at the bottom. Or we'll just leave it till there's no moisture at all in the top and then we know the whole lot of it is dry. Only a small birthday bumper today. We've got Bruce Jessamine, I think it's 25. 
Charlie Briscoe is 13. Lord Langley is 41. Don't know if that's a joke or whatever. Tom Turner is 31. And George Turner is 3. Philip Abbott's 72. Audrey Harrow, her Harrow is it? Is, I don't think there was an age, but she used to be a lamb girl, so I'm guessing she's quite old. Um, or that sounds really bad, but I'm guessing she's older than me. Uh, and Will White is on there. Not sure if that's Will White from Stafford, but happy birthday, everyone on there. And we are nearly at um, 59,000. If anyone wants to round it up, just quick aside, actually, what before we end the video, um, I'm appalled actually at uh, some of the messages that people have been commenting under yesterday's video and the day before's video saying that I don't think it, it's right to protest. People just don't seem to get it. I know people are angry and need direction, but by annoying the public, I don't think it's going to get you anywhere. You know, maybe go and get a load of sheep and let them go in Tesco. Say to Tesco, look, we're not making any money. We can't afford it. You look after them. Then that would probably do, do um, get you more PR than, than blocking a road. But I know when you watch the Orange T-shirt brigade blocking things, it makes me angry. Um, people going about their daily lives being disruptive so yeah that is the reason for not possessing yes something needs to be done you know depending on where you are in the country or the uk depends on on how how bad the job is but yeah i still think we can do a better job without disrupting the public anyway enough of a rant of that thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow